Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the last episode of the Return to the Circle Undone uh, campaign play with Wendy Adams. We are at the uh, before the Black Throne scenario, and uh, there are some changes to this scenario also. Uh, we are able to spend two of the tally marks uh, which we got at the end of the in the clutches of chaos to buy a night gun steed so the night gun steed comes into play uh, if you control the night gun steed you may enter empty space as if it were a location if you enter empty space night gun steed get, takes one direct damage Pause. if night gun steed leaves play remove it from the game and move to the nearest revealed location so uh, i decided to try this out and buy it with two of the tally marks we have. I'm using these uh, tokens for those. So we still have three. Uh, then uh, we have the uh, Wheel of Fortune upright. So Wheel of Fortune, once each act, when any investigator reveals an auto fail token, the investigators may cancel it and treat it as a zero token instead. So I'm keeping this uh, token on it. So I know I haven't used it yet this round. So that might help us a lot. Um, there is a lot of debate if you should use your player cards to uh, generate the empty space or use uh, blank cards or uh, uh, token cards or anything like that. But I feel like playing as the rules are written, so I don't mind even if it uh, puts you in a disadvantage. So I've al always played it this way and <laughs> I don't mind. This is a bit of a, a luck-based scenario either way, because you uh, might uh, not find the correct location. So we have these Cosmos locations here, and we have to find the correct one. Uh, after this, we set up again, then we have a new layout with new Cosmos locations, and etc. And we need to find the correct one, and if we don't, then <laughs> we don't. <clears throat> In uh, true solo, it might be quite difficult to find it. Uh, we have the Cosmos deck here, there are some new locations there. Asadot is in play and we can't uh, interact with Asadot and uh, Asadot has the uh, timer of uh, if we have 10 Doom on Asadot, uh, we go to resolution 1, which means we lose. Uh, we have to uh, get the one clue and find our way to the Hideous Palace to advance, so we'll start from there. And if we get a uh, cultist in play uh, when the agenda advances, we uh, don't remove Doom from them because uh, they will commit a ritual suicide and the Doom goes to Asatot, so that is one thing to consider. Uh, the only change to the deck is that I uh, removed one perception and added uh, one sharp vision to the deck. So um, I've already set up, so uh, I, I can't <laughs> show the card, but I'll put the uh, deck list link in the video description if you want to see the final uh, deck I am using for this scenario. Uh, so that is all I have to say uh, before we start, so let's get started. <laughs> I will draw our opening hand, so five cards we'll get, uh, we'll redraw that, so we get uh, Unexpected Courage, Bastion Bargain, Lockpicks, Test of Will, time to, I think I'm keeping the Test of Wheels and the Lockpicks, and uh, this can go, um, so we get Professor and Waylay, uh, Waylay is actually really good because that uh, lets us try to defeat those uh, mindless dancers, which are really, really annoying. <laughs> uh, they are really hard to kill, so at least we have a chance with Waylay. Uh, a test of wheels, we can just spend them. This is the last scenario, so we don't uh, have to mind if we get them exiled or something like that. So that is that. And uh, if you are not familiar how the empty space locations work, when we reveal uh, a Cosmos card that replaces one of those, uh, the card we had there uh, instead goes to the bottom of the player 
the deck so we don't know what card that is okay so let's start so first action i will of course play the lock picks i think this turn will go i will just investigate investigate to get the clues so uh, first action will use the lock picks uh, uh, second action will use the lock picks to investigate I am trying to save the Night Count deed as long as possible, so... Uh, oh yeah, uh, one thing I forgot, we have to uh, mental trauma on Wendy, so let's not forget about that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Lockfix, I am investigating 7 versus 2, so let's see how the, this goes. If it is a minus 1, we'll grab one clue. Uh, last action will just investigate 3 versus 2, not spending anything to this chest. It is an auto fail, so just uh, treat it as a zero. And uh, we'll get one clue. So, well, that, that is the Wheel of Fortune spent for this act. So, now I can't uh, cancel those auto fails anymore. But. That is that, so no enemies will go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get sharp vision, which is really good, we gain one resource, and I'm just double checking, so um, at the end of the round we add clues to the cosmic press until it has three clues on it, so we are of course adding two clues here and getting more clues next turn, so we can start uh, revealing new location, and uh, we got the uh, resource and the card, so that is that turn. Oh yeah, let's ready this. Uh, we need it next turn, and let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. The first encounter card is uh, the end is nine. A test will power one. This test gets plus one difficulty, uh, plus X difficulty where X is the current agenda number. If there is no agenda in play. If X is four. If you fail. Move each Doom on each Cultist enemy to Azathoth to play. Uh, or place one Doom on Azathoth if there are no Cultists. So, we are just testing this 4 versus 2. Not committing anything. And it is a minus 2, so we pass, so nothing happens. We'll go to the investigation phase. First action. Um, We'll uh, use block picks to investigate. So seven versus two, plus one. We'll grab a clue again. Second action. We'll play sharp vision. So sharp vision. Uh, while sharp vision is committed during a basic investigation action, it gains. Plus two intellect and the text. If this test is successful by two or more, discover one additional clue. So hoping to get this succeeded. So I am testing six versus two. It is a skull. Skull is X. X is the half of the doom on Asatot and uh, to a minimum of two. So uh, Round it up so yeah to a minimum of two so it is a minus two but we still succeed by two or more uh, so we grab these two clues then um, I think we are discard if I remember correctly we will discard all of our clues at the end of the um, act when we advance so I'm playing like that so or of well, we, we have to have one for this, so that is okay. So I'll use uh, my last action to uh, spend two clues. I'll reveal two cards from the Cosmos deck. And we have Infinity of Darkness and Dancer Mist. So Infinity of Target, you must either connect below or take two damage and connect to the bot bottommost reveal locations. Well, something good. Uh, Dancer's Mist, you must either connect to the right or lose two resources and connect to an adjacent location. So, if you move to Dancer's Mist, remove one resource from the scenario reference card. Move to a connecting location. Okay, well, I think we'll just 
pick this one and this gets shuffled back here. And we'll move here. So there are two clues here. And uh, that is our turn. Uh, this goes to the bottom of our deck. And uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We'll draw a card. Unexpected courage and gain one resource. And uh, we'll add clues to the cosmic ingress. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card is. Uh, mysterious chanting. Uh, we don't want to search for a cultist, so I will cancel that with uh, the test of will. We want to avoid cultists at any cost because uh, we would put doom on Azathoth. So I'm just testing the willpower test. So uh, minus two, we fail. So uh, our test of will gets exiled. That is okay. We are not uh, going to add it back to our deck anymore. That block fix is ready. So, but we uh, at least don't get the mysterious chanting. So that is that. Now, first action, we'll spend two clues. Uh, look at the top two cards from here, and. Uh, that way, in the void, uh, connect to a direction of your choice. After you enter play to the void, you must either discard one card from your hand or take one damage. You can take the damage, but, uh, but we, we can just pick this one. Yeah. Just pick the Dancer's Mist because uh, that is okay. Shuffling the co uh, cosmos and we'll connect to here. This goes to the bottom of our deck and we'll move here. And second action, uh, we'll go to this location and we find the hideous palace. So that is where we need to be. We can advance so. Uh, we still have the one clue we need, so let's uh, check. Um, only investigators of the hideous palace may spend the required number of clues at group to advance, so I will actually advance now. Remove cosmic ingress from the game. Plop. Shuffle each location in play other than the hideous palace into the cosmos. Each investigator at those locations is left behind and is killed. Each enemy at those locations shoveled into the top five cards of the counter deck. Take the set aside card of the Elder God once uh, this location and the top two cards of the cosmos and shuffle them to the, so you cannot tell uh, which is which. Then put them into play uh, along with the empty space as depicted in location placement for Act 2 in the campaign guide. In pair order, each investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck. So. Let's do all of that. So uh, these cards go to the bottom of my deck. Uh, all of the other locations are removed. We don't get those clues. And we'll shovel these. And we'll take the top two cards. Then we shuffle these for a while. And we have to check the placement order. I think this uh, map gets a bit crowded. So I have to maybe place locations a bit differently. Look, we'll see. So, yeah. So, Instead of placing them locations upright, I will place them uh, on their sides. So we have uh, one location here, one location here, one location here. And uh, this can be like, well, I'll place this also like this. Then we get 
uh, one, two, three, four. So we have new empty space locations everywhere. Just trying to fit this into the camera. So you can see all of the locations. Okay, I think that's good. So uh, we draw the top card of the encounter deck. It is a mindless dancer, so spawn farthest empty space. Uh, farthest empty space is over here. Place it over there. And we can't cancel that. Uh, uh, well, it, it doesn't have a revelation effect, and it is not a treachery card. Okay. So we get the mindless dancer, which is not nice. Those are pretty annoying. They're fast, and well, we can evade and uh, waylay and try to repeat it like that, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, last action, we'll just uh, use the lockpicks to investigate. We need more clues. But yeah, we spent this one. So, uh, 7 versus 3. Minus 4, we break a lockpick, but we get a clue. And uh, that is that turn. Enemy face. Uh, so, this guy hunts here, and because it's empty space, it hunts again, so it's over here now. Uh, we'll draw a card, we get the backstab, and we gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the uh, well, let's see. So, uh, next we have to spend exclusion and again we can move uh, generate locations. Uh, objective only investigators of the court of the great old ones may spend the required number of clues group to advance, and now it's two, so we uh, need to find the uh, correct location again. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. One thing I forgot is that we advance the act, so this is available again, uh, so we can cancel one auto fail. Uh, we'll start by placing a doom on the uh, agenda. The encounter card for this turn is a world of darkness revelation. If there is no doom on a world of darkness, then search. So we'll search it. Uh, unavoidable demise. That's agility too. If you fail, take two damage. If you succeed, put unavoidable demise into play next to the agenda deck. If uh, while unavoidable demise is next to the gen gender deck, each other copy uh, of it gains plus uh, one difficulty and deals plus one damage if it is failed. Uh, I'm testing five versus two. Uh, sorry, four versus two. Plus one, I uh, will place it next to the gender deck. I'll place it over uh, here because uh, there are other cards next there. Okay, then uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. Uh, oh yeah, and the, the same text applies here, so we should add clues there every time. So, uh, first action, uh, we will investigate. Uh, I'm again using the block picks, which I always forget to ready. Uh, I am investigating seven versus three. It's minus one. Uh, we'll grab a clue. We don't break a block pick. Second action, we'll, uh, we'll investigate again, and I am using the unexpected courage. So, five versus three. It is a zero. We managed to get another clue from here. Uh, last action, I'm just spending one clue this time, so we can uh, reveal the top card here. It is a flight into oblivion. You must either connect to above or take two horror and connect to the topmost reveal location in a direction of your choice. Uh, remove one resource from the scenario friends card, move the pl placement of flight into oblivion once upward placement empty space in the spot it previously occupied. Well, this is an awkward situation. Um, 
now we have the uh, mindless dancer at lo our location. Just have to uh, recheck the rules if I have to move uh, when placing those locations. I think it's on the uh, act card, so let's see. So, spend a control, uh, choose one of the books to play and move to it. I have to move to it, so there is no avoiding um, going here. So, this gets removed. This comes into play. Well, I'll be dead. <laughs> so, and the mindless dancer engages us. We don't have any actions left, so it gets to hit us. So. Uh, yeah, it just hit us for two damage and one horror. So next turn we have to try and waylay it. So uh, that is the investigation phase, enemy phase. Uh, we'll take two damage, one horror, upkeep. Uh, we're ready. Lock, pick, stroke, card, <laughs> abandoned and alone. Oh no! Uh, so our discard is gone. Uh, take two direct horror and remove all cards in your discard pile from the game. Ouch. Um, so we have uh, taken five horror of seven. <sighs> so uh, I think we are in trouble, but we'll see how this continues. So we'll still get the resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we advance the act. Uh, I mean the agenda. So we are at four doom. So let's see what happens. Uh, rejoice for the end is near. Uh, each cultist enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard each cultist enemy in play and remove all doom from them to Astot. The lead investigator must search and counter deck and discard pile for a copy of demonic piping and droids. Uh, let's do that. Piping. So we draw it. So this just comes into play and searches. So I'll just place it over here. So it searches and head of all pools just comes into play. Okay. Then Take camp along. If Gilman journeys the list is under mementos discovered, you are able to find your way. Otherwise, you become hopelessly lost. Each investigator must either move to the location to his or her left, or move the placement of his or her location once to the left, placing an empty space in spot. Okay, so I think we have the Gilman's journal listed. So we have have the journal, so we don't have to do that. So that is at least good. Next, we have a threshold of six, and each location is connected to not remove doom from enemies, etc. So the same as before. Okay, and uh, then we get an encounter card uh, as normal. Or yeah, that that was the demonic piping we uh, resolved. That. So uh, the normal encounter card, another demonic piping. So. Uh, there are two, and it searches, and uh, the end is nigh, test uh, will power one, this test gets plus one difficult where X is the current agenda number, if there is no agenda number, okay, so we'll just uh, test the will that, to calm things down a bit, so uh, I'm testing the a test of will, so four versus three, zero, it doesn't get exiled, so it goes into the discard, okay, now, uh, first action, we will evade the mindless dancer. Uh, evading four versus three, so I'll go to five versus three. Elder sign, which is a zero, so this enemy is evaded. Second action will uh, waylay. <laughs> So it costs three and choose an exhausted non elite. It is not an elite enemy at your location. Test uh, agility where agility where exists the enemy's evade value if you succeed, defeat that enemy. So we really need to hit 
uh, minus one or better. So we ha don't have any more icons to commit. So let's see. And it is a zero. So this enemy <laughs> is defeated. And we have some more breathing room at the moment. Uh, last action. We'll investigate. We need more clues. So, investigating 2 versus 1. Uh, 7 versus 2, I mean. Auto fail, and I have this, so I'll turn it into a 0. We succeed. Get the clue. And. Uh, that is our turn, no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we get alter fate, and actually we'll next turn defend, definitely play alter fate to remove the demonic uh, piping, so we don't get the piper in play, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, and counter card for this turn is a mysterious chanting, this we can't avoid but I will play the Alter of Fate either way. Uh, well, I'll play that at the start of my turn actually. Because there, I think there is no test window here. So we have to search for an uh, enemy and we'll just pick one Acolyte because it's only one Doom on Azathoth, so we can't avoid that. Okay. Uh, I'll just place the cultist somewhere. It's over here, and it gets one doom. Next, uh, oh yeah, if we manage to advance before they commit ritual suicide, so they uh, shuffle into the discard uh, or the encounter deck, and we don't get doom. So now I'll play the altar of fate to guarantee we don't hit the third demonic piping and get the piper so uh, first action I am spending uh, one clue okay and we'll check the first card so uh, this is a newer one nightmare breach five shroud one clue connect in a direction of your choice but only onto a spot where an empty space exists Remove that empty space from the game instead of shuffling back into the owner's deck. Then discard each other copy of that card from play and from each investigator's hand. Okay, well, uh, that is an interesting new card. So I'm deciding this one. And it is the old keyring. So now I have to look at my deck and shuffle it because... Or... Let's remove... Uh, then discard each other copy of that card from play and from each investigator's hand. So we don't check cards there or here. Okay. So that is that is good. Don't have to. And there, there are two clues here. No. There is one clue here. I think we don't need that at this point. And uh, this goes out of the game. And uh, hmm, I think second action. Uh, uh, yeah, first action was that, so I think I'm using the lockpicks here. So, uh, testing 7 versus 5. So we hopefully get it. We get it, but we break a lockpick, but that's, I think it's okay at this point. Last action, we'll just move over here. And it is the court of the great old ones, which we are looking for. Uh, it comes into play with six clues. At the end of the round, add clues to part of the uh, great old ones uh, until it has six clues on it. Its void location gains. Uh, shuffle this location into the cosmos, moving each investigator and enemy that was in, at this location to part of the old ones. Uh, okay, well, I think I've never used that uh, action. Yeah, we have uh, enough clues so we could advance. But I think I'm doing the advancement at the end of the round. So no enemy actions will go to upkeep. Uh, just 
move this back over here. Uh, we'll uh, draw a card and ready cards. We get Faustian bargain and we get on resource. So this at this moment I will use the two clues to advance. And this uh, ready is that. So in Asatat's domain, ready is to nucleus of the universe. Uh, remove hideous palace from the game. Shuffle each location in play other than the court of the great old ones into the cosmos. Each investigator at those locations is left behind and killed. Each enemy at those locations is shuffled into the top uh, five cards of the encounter deck. Take the set aside black throne and the top three cards of the cosmos and shuffle them so you cannot tell which is which. Uh, then put them into play along with empty space as depicted in the location uh, placement for Act 3, the campaign guide. In play order, each investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, so uh, this uh, enemy gets shuffled to the top 5 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just do that. That is uh, enough shuffling for those. Then uh, we remove the uh, hideous palace from the game, and we take the, the black throne. We are nearing the end. We'll see how that goes. So these goes go here. These get uh, removed and placed underneath my deck. We still have the knight count Steve, so we are in good position. Try and find the black throne. So let's shuffle these ones. And uh, the placement is quite similar to the last one, but uh, we have two more empty spaces. But let's see. So shuffling, shuffling. Luckily, these uh, mid game setups are not that long as, for example, in some other campaigns. So uh, one. One, two, three. Yeah, so we have four uh, locations and we shuffle them. And uh, then place them one over here. This is like so. One over here, and one over here, and one over here. Then we place the empty space and it comes into play like, like this. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now uh, we have a new Act 3, so spend X clues, draw the top X cards of the Cosmos, choose one to put in play using its Cosmos instructions and move to it, shuffle the rest back in the Cosmos object. If the lead investigator is at the Black Throne, there are no clues on it, advance. So that is uh, our goal. So uh, that is the end of the round. So. Oh yeah, we still have to draw the encounter card, and uh, we get ultimate chaos test, uh, willpower 4, if you fail, that's ultimate chaos to Azathoth, if you fail but 2 or more, take 1 damage and 1 horror, if you fail but 3 or more, ultimate chaos gain surge, cannot be cancelled, if there are 3 uh, copies of ultimate chaos attached to Azathoth, discard them and either place 1 doom on Azathoth or Azathoth attacks each investigator during uh, play order, cannot be cancelled, so I'm testing uh, 4 versus 4, Actually, uh, 5 versus 4. It is a minus 2, so uh, we fail. Uh, we only place it on Azatot, so just put it over here. And, uh, well, that is that. At least we didn't fail by 2 or more. 
Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Uh, two of six. And counter purple. This turn is... Uh, Fed of all fools, so... So I gain a new encounter card which gains peril and I can put cards to this, so this can search. Uh, there's no doom on Azotot yet, so unavoidable demise. So this is a difficulty of 3, because we have 1 in play, so testing 4 versus 3. And it is a minus two. If you fail, Azatot attacks you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I think that is game over. Because Azatot attacks me for three damage and three horror. So, first off, uh, we fail this. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I am Wendy. So, wait a minute. I'm discarding a card. Uh, redraw, redraw. So, four versus. Uh, three. It's a zero. Oh, thank God. So this goes here. Uh, I I nearly <laughs> nearly lost myself there. I, I forgot that Wendy is just uh, an awesome investigator, canceling those, uh, losing your game uh, draws. Okay, and uh, I'm just double checking. So I can't, uh, cards cannot be committed, but I can use special abilities, etc. Okay, so uh, let's go to the investigation phase. First action, I will use block it to investigate. Uh, seven versus four. Oh no, we break the lock pick. Uh, Let's just uh, spend the clue to move somewhere in the cosmos. We'll get the Winding Gulf, which is a new location to Shroud, two clues. Uh, connect to the leftmost revealed location in a direction of your choice. Then you must either immediately move to Winding Gulf or place one doom on as a touch. Leftmost revealed location in a direction. Okay, so the leftmost is this, so... I think I will... Let's just over here and move to it. Because that is actually a really good location. Uh, then... I will investigate 3 versus uh, 2. Unfortunately it's a minus 2, so we are not able to grab the clue, so... Upkeep, no enemies, we'll add a card, gain a resource, uh, nine of rods. Okay, and that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, uh, encounter card is whisper, uh, whisper bargain, pack peril revelation, you must either choose place one doom on Azadot or Azadot attacks you, I'll place the doom. And uh, that is the uh, Mythos phase, investigation phase, we'll uh, investigate 3 versus 2. And if you fail as it attacks you, I will use my disability. Minus 2 will fail. I don't have any cards, so I think I'm just taking one damage on this uh, Night Count Steed and moving over here. Oh yeah, just move there, and uh, last action I'll go to here, which is the fight into Oblivion. You must either connect a bow, well this is just re remove one resource from the scenario reference card, move the placement of the fight of Oblivion once upward. Okay. There is one clue. Well, that was a crappy turn. Well, no enemies, at least. Go to upkeep. We 
go a card, the black book, we gain one resource. That is that turn, and let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, so we are at five of six encounter cardies. I think this has to be the cultist. Yeah, because we've drawn so many. So cultist comes into play, unfortunately. Uh, that means that uh, when next turn the agenda advances, uh, we will... We're not going back there. So we'll uh, get one more Doom on Azathoth, which will make the investigation at the before the, uh, at the Black Throne harder. But yeah, uh, let's see the steps. So uh, you must either evolve or take one. Remove one resource from the scenario reference card. Move the placement of Flight of Oblivion once upward, placing an empty space in what previously occupied. I'm just uh, moving that one. Or actually, let's do it by the book. So, uh, first action, I'm moving it once upward. So, this goes here. This moves here. This goes here. And uh, we'll investigate. I uh, will play the black book. Last action, investigate, uh, investigating four versus two. It is uh, minus two because there is only one doom on Azathoth. So we'll grab this. And uh, that is our turn, no enemy actions. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. Traxus, uh, not that good in this scenario, and we gain one resource, so uh, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom, so uh, this advances, and we won't uh, remove doom from the cultist or Azadot. Uh, Check camp and Oh yeah, first each cultist enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard each cultist enemy and place uh, and move all doom on from them to Azathoth. So this is discarded. And uh, lead investor must search and counter deck and discard file for a copy of demonic pipe and destroyed. So we'll search for the encounter deck. And we have to draw it, so it searches Impen uh, impending evil peril. Uh, you must either take one damage and one horror, or put impending evil in play next to agenda deck, and it can search. There are three copies uh, next to agenda, discard them and advance the current agenda. Okay, we'll search it. Uh, no, yes. <laughs> unavoidable demise, it is uh, uh, test of four, committing the track shoes, so I'm uh, testing five versus four. It is a zero, so uh, this comes into play there, but there are no more copies of it, so we avoided the unavoidable demise, which is really good. Uh, Okay, check camp and lock if uh, worn crucifix is listed under mementos discovered, the wraith recognizes you, the crucifix you stole from Walter Gilman's room and packs away slowly, slinking into the darkness beyond. Worn crucifix, we unfortunately don't have that. So. Rat attacks you, each investigator must test uh, willpower 4, each investigator who fails, take 1 damage and 1 more. Okay. I am uh, willpower 5 versus 4, so it is a minus 2, so we fail, so we take 1 damage and 1 more. Okay, that is not good. We are 1 uh, uh, horror away from getting defeated. That is not good. Okay. Then, 
we get an encounter card. And it is impeding evil. You must either take one damage or or, or put uh, impeding evil in the play next and it can search so it would die, so we'll get the next one. Uh, we'll have to place one doom on as a thought. So we are at uh, three of eight doom. This is getting really clutch. Okay. That is the middle space done. Uh, We'll use that dam. Uh, we didn't. Yeah, we used this one, so I'm using it again. Let's move over here. Uh, let's move over here. And it is the Black Throne. So, here, uh, let's uh, read it. So, the Black Throne. One shroud, two clues. The Black Throne gets plus X shroud, where X is half of the Doom on Azathoth rounded up. Uh, haunted Doom must either place one Doom on Azathoth or Azathoth attacks you. So, uh, we are really close now, uh, we are uh, testing I wound it up, so it is a Shroud of Three, we are uh, investigating it with four. So, uh, last action, we try to investigate, uh, four versus three. Auto fail, which is a good one thing. It is the first for this, so we turn it into a zero. We get a clue, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, breaking and entering. Uh, if we survive next middle space, we are able to win this uh, campaign actually. But we'll see how that goes. We'll get more resource. I, I think I added that. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so um, everything is riding on this middle space. If uh, we survive, uh, we are able to try breaking and entering. So uh, we'll add a doom to the agenda, four of eight. Uh, the encounter card is a uh, fate of all fools. So next card gains uh, burial and can't commit cards. So it is a wizard of the order. So if that guy goes somewhere, we don't care, we don't mind, we just want to get the clue and resign. So, first action, breaking and entering, oh, sorry, first action, draw a card, second action, breaking and entering, this is just because now I have the ability to spend this ability if we draw an auto fail or something, so, uh, breaking and entering, investigating, uh, 8 versus 3 for the win. 0. We did it. We get the clue. And that is it. So we get to advance. The end. Uh, check campaign log. Uh, if at least two of the following are true, you may proceed to resolution 2. You accept that your fate. Mesmerizing clue is listed under Mementos Discovered. A ritual component is listed under Mementos Discovered. If at least two of the following is true, you may proceed to Resolution 3. You rejected your fate. Uh, Scraps of Torn Shadow is listed under Mementos Discovered. A wish of Spectral Mises under Mementos Discovered. If uh, Strange Incantation and Bloody Creek Carvings are listed under Mementos Discovered, Resolution 6, otherwise Resolution 4. Uh, we have... Uh, I think we have... We accepted our fate. We have... Uh, Mesmerizing flute. Uh, we have. Uh, we don't have the ritual components, but uh, we have the two of those. So we go to resolution two. Resolution two. It was not until recently that you understood the purpose of the awful piping which you have heard constantly throughout your investigation. It is a lullaby of sorts, meant to keep the oblivious god from waking. For just a brief moment the piper's song was interrupted and Azadot began, began to stare. Now you understand why Anna came to you that fateful night and begged to read your fortune. She knew the part you would have to play when you arrived here. Sitting down at the edge of, edge of the creature's night, nighted throne, 
you take out your flute and begin to play. In this place where time and hunger and age and weariness are mortal aspects of no concern to you, it is your duty to continue to play without fail, without them. In your campaign log record, the lead investigator has joined the pipers of Azatot. In your campaign log record, Azatot slumbers for now. The lead investigator is driven insane. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns 5 bonus experience as they are saved. Uh, they have saved the universe from being devoured. Each investigator suffers through mental trauma as they understand that one day as a dot will inevitably wake. The investigators win the campaign. So, <laughs> uh, that was the return to the circle I'm done with Wendy Adams. Uh, Wendy will uh, remain for the rest of uh, eternity at the Black Throne uh, playing the flute for Azatot, so that Azatot won't wake, but uh, we at least won the campaign, so I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with the end result, so yeah. So that is the Return to the Circle I'm Done with Wendy Adams. Hope you guys like this playthrough series. Thanks for watching and until next time.